tacos cost 17 good morning everyone welcome to another vlog tober this morning i am getting ready to go to my facial i have my headband on just so my edges will stay down because i just did them um but i'm trying something new this time i'm getting a glycolic acid treatment it's supposed to improve skin texture so we'll see how it looks afterwards but i'll bring you guys along so i can show you what my facial normally looks like and then afterwards i'll be meeting up with sierra to grab some lunch and then this evening is pretty free um i don't know what i'm doing this evening we'll see i washed my face because i want to go to the facial with like crusty eyes even though like in an hour she's about to wash my face but i was just like I don't want to look gross coming to my appointment but yeah, this is the outfit it's a little chilly right now but it's gonna get warm later on so i might take this off but yeah cotton on target and then h&m and then i'm probably gonna wear my adidas doing some laundry so that's probably what you hear at the back but guys i don't know if you guys know this i don't think i told you guys but i used to play sim I absolutely love Sims. I had Sims 2, I had Sims 3, I had Sims 4. I had the CDs back in middle school. And I went through maybe like three PC laptops and maybe it's because of all the games I was downloading. Um, I had so many expansion packets like um, the Pets and Dogs laundry one, the university. And I was just thinking, I was like, I haven't played Sims in a while. And I had it on my Mac, but I was running out of space because you know, I'm editing on my um, Mac and Final Cut Pro does take up a lot of space. So I had to delete it. But my husband has a Windows laptop and he reminded me that like, oh, why don't you just like download it, download Origin on uh, and Sims 3 and Sims 4 on my laptop. And I was like, that's a good idea okay so as you can see i just downloaded the sims 4 game um i just signed into my ea account and it was already there for me i also have sims 3 um but i looked up sims 2 they don't have sims 2 anymore sims 2 is like more realistic than sims 4 and sims 3 um but yeah i'm like eh, i want to play right now i have like an hour until I leave for my appointment but yeah I never grew up playing the PlayStation I never had a Wii and never had an Xbox I really never did that um, I just had my PC and I had my sim and then I also paid for a couple of the expansion packets again back in the day I used to have the physical CD and I would download it onto my PC um, but I have Seasons, I have Pets and Dogs, Laundry, um, those are the ones that I have right now. But yeah, I can see my family is not here, so I have to create a completely new game. I'll just get started with creating my a new family. This is going to be fun. It's always fun creating a sim. Like, I spent maybe like 30 minutes creating a new sim. Oh, wait! You can actually choose their pronouns. Okay, this is a new feature. Oh, this is interesting. You can customize pronouns. Okay. So guys, I've made my sim. Her name is Poppy Wagner. Then she has a husband named Andres. That's what he looks like. And then I added a pet. Her name is Sandy. So cute. Okay, so I chose a house for them. They started off with 24,000. And after buying the house, furnishing it automatically, they are down to $10,732. Now, in this point of the game, I would have entered my cheat code <laughs> and added like 50K to transform their household. But I want this to be realistic as possible i don't want to use any cheat codes they're just gonna live like this and work their way up and out of this place it's not too bad 
but you guys know me you the automatic burnishing like i remember one time the stove went on fire because it was so cheap and the shower we had to repair so many times because again it's very cheap but um yeah they can be living a little rough but that's okay but yeah i am ready to play i got my little snack um just to hold me while i'm at my appointment but yeah now it's time to officially play I am leaving now for my appointment, got my Adidas on, and I am ready to go. See you guys there. I am getting my facial right now. Today we are going to try the glycolic acid treatment. Today, yep, it'll be my first time, so I'll let you guys know how it is. It's gonna tingle a little bit. Okay. Uh, but if you don't have a big tolerance of the pain, mm -hmm. I can give you the fan. Okay. And uh, you can just uh, make it uh, calm down. Okay. But uh, shouldn't be that bad. Too bad. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be doing like a, it's uh the glycolic thirty percent. Thirty percent. So it's okay. not that bad. And you have to leave it on my skin. Yeah, on your skin like. Uh, uh, 30, glycolic 30 is about 5 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that's supposed to be tingle. I know. So. I think maybe because I had the breakout on my forehead. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It tingles there. Right. But this is only 5 minutes, so okay and uh, yeah you can start a pushing uh, fun that make you feel better right Ooh, yeah to you so i'm done with my facial and this is how my skin looks it's so glowy she always does a great job when i come here if you're interested in getting a facial, the link to her website will be in the description box down below. You can okay, I am back in the car. My edges are reverted. They are curly, so I'm definitely going to go to Target later today and return that can to Edge Control. And I'll see if I can go to the beauty supply store either today or tomorrow. But nope, we're done with that. And I still have to go out today, so I'm just going to cover them because they're looking a little curly. But yeah, I had like one little thing here, so she had to, you know, squeeze that out. But other than that, my skin is very glowy. I totally forgot that we did microdermabrasion, so I did the regular um, cleansing, exfoliating mask, and then we did microdermabrasion and the, the glycolic acid, and it wasn't too bad. Um, it was a low dosage, we did 30%. Um, next time we might do 50%, but my skin is so glowy. It looks really good. I brought my makeup bag because I'm going out to eat. And I was like, ooh, let me just put on a little bit of makeup. Um, or, you know, this lunch outing. But my skin looks really... Oh, gosh. I see the mask up my nose. Oh, gosh. It's like I have a booger. Hold on. Oh, wait. We don't have tissue. Oh, great. I felt her going in with the Q-tip because a little bit of the mask got in my nose. Oh no. I have a Target receipt. That's all I have, guys. One moment. Okay, I'm, I'm back, guys. I had to fix myself up a little bit. But I brought my little foundation just to do a little something for the outing. But my skin looks really good. I don't even need anything on my face. I'm feeling more comfortable going out without makeup. Like sometimes I just go to work without makeup. And people don't know, honestly. They can't tell, because even when I have makeup on, it's very minimal. But I'm just gonna put just a little bit under my eye. And a little bit over here. Honestly, you can't tell the difference. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. 
and I thought it was gonna get chilly but it's still hot here in Texas I'm adding just a little bit of blush okay okay very subtle but okay I'm just gonna cover up my edges because yeah they're not laid down anymore unfortunately I think I think it's because of the steam she had the steamer to open up my pores um, yeah so maybe it's not the edge control fault but still I'm still returning it so I'm about to head to lunch um, to be there at 2.45 and it's 2.32 and the place is not too far. We just have to find parking, so. Yeah. Okay. Off to lunch with Sierra. Taking some pictures together. Yes. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah. yeah. Did you like it? I thought it was okay. I didn't like the sauce, right. and I didn't like the chicken. I just, I didn't like the fries. That's literally everything. Yeah, everything. That's <laughs> everything. I thought the French fries were okay. Yeah. I tasted better though. There was like not a lot of seasoning on the fries. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. but I like the garlic aioli. The little, the little parsley that they added on the french fries didn't do anything. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> didn't like, do I anything. liked it when it touched my tongue. Like, but it wasn't enough. <laughs> Disappointing. Yes. We won't be back here again. Yeah. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh. The price, I mean, three tacos cost $17. I mean, come on. We, yeah, we split it. Yeah, we, we split it. I think he was upset, the server, but it's okay. <laughs> we split it and we had a coupon. <laughs> but we gave him a good tip, like more than what it would have been. Yeah. Okay, so we are at my favorite pho restaurant. You guys know what I ordered by now. I got a shrimp pho, extra spicy. And I normally eat with chopsticks, so I'm gonna get everything set up. So I get one of the spoons, got my napkin, and then my chopsticks. So I'm at Target. I just returned the edge control canteen one that didn't work. But I'm looking around and they have the Christmas decorations. Look at this. Aren't they so cute? I am so excited to decorate this year. I didn't think they would have it out this soon, but they have all this Christmas stuff. Look at this. I'm so excited to decorate. Oh my gosh. And I'll have a budget set up next month to okay. decorate for Christmas, so. Look at this one. I didn't know you were gonna These are so cute. Let's look around. Okay, we shouldn't be in this section. We should be gone, but <laughs> gotta work on it. <gasps> look at all the stuff. <gasps> what are these? Nutcrackers? Right? <gasps> so cute. Oh, this would be nice to hang on the door. Oh. Oh. In a snow globe. This is so nice. I gotta shake it. Looks nice, guys, right? Oh my gosh, their Christmas decorations are so nice. I mean, this is so cute. Oh gosh, is it already that time of the year? Oh, 
this is cute. Days until Christmas and then you move it around. Oh, this is nice. And they have Christmas pillows. Okay, I'm back again. Look what I found. Okay, look what I found. Oh, isn't it cute? Oh, this is so cute. Look at these. I think it's just a hanger, like a coat hanger. That looks nice. And then this one, look at this decoration. I'm not sure what you're supposed to put in these little things. Maybe chocolate. So December 3rd, you would open this up, maybe eat the chocolate. I don't know if this is how it works. Did the same thing with here. What do you usually put in these? Like day one, December 1st, you open it up, and then I don't know what you do. The last time I decorated was like in 2007 and I was a kid, so I have no idea what these are, but it looks really cute. But yeah, I just, oh my god, this one's so cute. <gasps> Threshold collection is really nice too. They have generally really nice decor. This Christmas tree <gasps> and this Christmas tree. I am so excited to decorate for Christmas. This bubble right here tastes so good. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I was hoping it's not disappointing, but it tastes really good. I got the Thai milk tea with 50% sugar because you don't need that much sugar, honestly. Next time I'll probably do like 30%, but not too sweet, but I think I would like it a little bit less sweet um <laughs> but it tastes really good I we tried out this new place today and it didn't disappoint it was good the first time i tried boba i was like omg this is so sweet and i didn't know that you can customize sugar level i don't know when i had it maybe it was like in 2017 or 16 but the first time i had it, i was like this is too much and they added a hundred percent sugar <laughs> And the next time I tried it, they asked me like what sugar level I wanted. I was like, oh wait, I didn't know you can customize it. Uh, so that's when I got like 30%. I was like, okay, this tastes so much better. So I don't like, I don't like sweet drinks, but this tastes really good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay guys, I'm on the Apple website and I've decided to send feedback to Apple because I actually have an iPhone 13. I didn't get an iPhone 14 when it came out. So, mm, never mind. Now we're on the iPhone 15s, and I'm still not interested in getting it because there's two features that I would like for the new iPhone 16 to have. I don't know if they're gonna do it. I'm gonna fill out the form, but there's two new features that I would want in a new phone. And they keep adjusting the camera quality. I'm like, I don't care about the camera quality. I'm not a photographer. Stop that. <laughs> like, I don't care. There are features that I would love to see in an iPhone and I'm hoping that they add it. Um, but I'm gonna tell you the two features that I would like to see. And when they come out the iPhone 16 and they had these features, it was me, okay? Know that. It was me who sent them feedback. So the first feature I would like to see added is when you go on your iPhone, you can change, I guess, the setting to like do not disturb, work, sleep, driving. And driving is the only option where it sends auto messages when people send you a message. So it says like Miriam is driving, um, do not disturb, something like that. And that person gets an auto message. That only happens when it's on the driving setting, okay? And I'm not always driving. And even sometimes when I'm not driving and I put it on driving, it doesn't send that 
person the auto message sometimes it's finicky but i would like an option where if i'm on vacation or if i just don't want to speak to someone i can customize a message and it could automatically be sent to that person that would be nice because all the other ones like do not disturb i mean you just won't get notifications but you can't send them an automated message so that would be nice or like if I want to customize an auto message for a specific person, a specific contact, I would like to do that. That's the first feature I would like to see because that would be very helpful. The second feature I would like to see has to deal with organizing photos. So you know when you take a photo, it gets automatically saved to your camera roll and you have to keep scrolling. So you guys know when I went to Paris and London like a year ago, I would have to scroll all the way up to the top because that was last year and I've taken so many photos since then. It would be great if they had a feature where if you go to your camera roll right now and maybe there's a button, right? And there's a button where, where you can select an album name or a folder where your pictures can be saved. Because right now when you take photos, it gets automatically saved on your camera roll. And then if you create like a separate album where you want to add it, you can do that, but it's a copy of the photo. So you have so you have it in two different places. You have it in your camera roll, but you also have it in your album. You have it in two different places. It would be great if we can select a folder before taking a picture. Then when you take the picture, it will be automatically saved to that folder and not to the camera roll. That would be so nice because I create YouTube shorts, so I have several videos. Um, when I film, I take thumbnail pictures. When I travel, I take videos and photos, and they're just all jumbled up together in this camera roll. And it would be great to organize them, but without having duplicates, basically. It's duplicates. It would be nice. Um, and it's kind of annoying when like if i create an album i have to go through the camera roll and add them to the folder but like if i know i'm going to be taking pictures let's just say if i travel to jamaica and i take pictures i know that i'm going to be in jamaica for a week i want them to be automatically saved to my jamaica folder like automatically that would be great instead of like adding them after that would be a feature that would be useful for content creators, especially people who, you know, who film Instagram reels and TikTok and YouTube shorts. Just having a way to organize photos, that would be super helpful. So I'm literally on the website right now. Fill this out right now. Hey guys, I am going to close out this vlog. I just did my skincare routine, so this is why my face looks so, so oily. But, um... Yeah, today there was a lot going on, but I really enjoyed hanging out with Sierra and getting some food in Boba. Today was fun, but yeah, it's time to wind down and go to bed because tomorrow is a new day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Vlogtober and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!